Hey guys, so this is my review for the Lytton Literature and Composition Grade 4 curriculum from Hewitt Homeschooling. And surprisingly enough, I'm actually loving this curriculum a whole lot and we're going to continue to use it um, throughout the school year. This particular uh, section that we're working on is Nymph's Island. So this is the book here that we got from our local library. It also has a motion picture as well, which we're going to watch at the end of this week. And this is pretty much what the student workbook looks like. So there's different days and there's different activities for each day to focus on the either writing skills, grammar, or reading comprehension. Uh, in particular, this one here that we started on is on page 171 for the Nims Island. And it also uh, paired up with the story as well. So I ended up getting this book. I don't really know if that's what you're supposed to do, but I felt like it was, so that's what I got. And then we've been reading the book and then working on the activities as we go along. As you can see, there's a student checklist. So you just kind of check off as you go, and then you read the reading comprehension questions. Uh, for my son, I've kind of marked his as uh, okay or wrong or this or that, as you can see. There's also a teacher's guide as well. This portion here focuses on grammar. In particular, this one is focusing on letter writing. And I thought this is really neat for any small children or uh, middle schoolers who need to kind of use this in helping them to develop more. So as you can see, it goes into week 16, still day two, day three, day four. If I skip ahead, this is week 17. This is still a part of Nims Island. These we have not done yet, but we will be doing soon. So I actually do love this particular um, curriculum. I actually think it's great and it's easy to understand. This is week 18 and you can do these activities with your child over a set of weeks and days and honestly be done with them. Um, there are other other uh, books in here as well that you can also kind of turn into a full unit study which is what I love. So there's the Dreamer book. There is I believe the Boy Who Harnessed the Wind book. Um, there is Tuck Everlasting which I know is towards the end. Um, there's there's so much. There's the one and only Bob. There's just a lot of things in here. Um, I definitely would recommend for any family to utilize this curriculum. If you are someone that is interested in doing curriculums for your children, they also come with a past test as well, which you guys see my video a couple weeks ago on that. This here is the teacher's guide. And as I said before, same thing with the teacher's guide, same thing with the student workbook. It's really easy to get through. Um, it's giving you the answers, you know, to assist the children as well as with the mechanics of grammar, the reading comprehension, everything that's basically ELA for this grade. Uh, group or age group it's pretty much covered in here uh literature based uh, i mean it's everything composition then there are suggested uh, activities as well for them to kind of continue on with so this one is the one and only ivan story it kind of goes through it goes through the theme story maps character character traits conflict you know all that good stuff the kids need to learn my son actually would be uh I guess by age wise he would be considered the second grade but he is learning third fourth fifth and even sixth grade material so this book we're definitely going to use this full year um i received this as a complimentary um item so thank you again to Hewitt homeschooling and to the melanated gold review squad i am going to put all of my good uh, information and, and things down below uh, you guys feel free to comment and if you are looking to purchase this please go and visit this company's uh, website and purchase thanks for watching Bye bye